Alright, welcome back to Strange Horticulture, everybody. My name is Lisbug. This is Hellbore the Cat. He purrs. That is so delightful. Um, but we are now on day 11, and we've got a new clue from closing up the shop last time. If you're new here to Strange Horticulture, every time you complete a day of the shop, you get one of these cards that um, coordinates to a puzzle to do on the map. So let's go ahead and try and solve this one. It has these numbers on the card, and I have a feeling that these have to do with the elevations of the mountains here. If we pull out my magnifying glass... Yeah, so Bowville is 902 meters, and the old man is 803. So if we line these up real quick... Bowville and... What is it? The old man? We get this spot here. So looks like E16. Ooh, we got it. The impressive ridgeline of the Crinkle Crags stretches across the full width of my vision. That is such a fun name. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moss. Ooh, that's cool. feel smooth and soft underneath. The large stamen seems to be the source of an acerbic odor. Okay. Good to know. Let's open up shop. First, let me put away my map. Oop. I made him blip. George Campbell. My old man reckons there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground. Don't know what it's called, but I bet you do. I probably do. Tell you what, when I'm rich, I'll throw a share of the gold in your way. Okay. Let's see. A plant that can help find gold. I remember he thinking... Uh, I remember seeing the entry about that one. Okay, that's what I was looking for. It's called Weeping Bell. It's planned, believed by many to lead to gold. <laughs> but apparently, it doesn't really work. Oh, it's also called Golden Light. Okay, so we actually solved a puzzle before that identified this one as Golden Light. And the leaves match, so I think this is what he's looking for. Weeping... Oh, wait. Oh, no, because it says Weeping Bell, but Golden Light's just a nickname. Nice. And now we can collect this. Lesser Meridoc. Like Meridoc from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Ugh, the round flower head of the Meridoc is made up of smaller yellow flowers. Florets, a single drop of the strong smelling sap from this plant can utterly drain a person's mental faculties, rendering them slow and uncomprehending. Well, that's terrifying. Let's re-label this one real quick. We're just gonna call it Golden Light. We're gonna call it Weeping Bell. Golden Light. And then we'll put it over here with the other identified plants. Boop. Alright. Who else do we got? It's Ennis again. Freaking Edgar Allan Poe trying to get me to join his cult. I shouldn't have trusted you. I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. One of the drivers in town and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. We suspect he's here to hunt the Dendru. Yeah. If he returns, give him some of this. He will make a worthy sacrifice to the Dendru. Let's help him on his way. Oh my gosh. No, I don't want to. <gasps> no, it's that plant they told me about, isn't it? No. The one that, like, makes your mental faculties, like, become low. Yeah. Slow and uncomprehending. I am not giving this to him. I'm literally going to label it right now. Don't give to Forest. No. Forrest is a monster hunter who is always on drugs. That's true. But we need him to get rid of this monster. I do not want to sacrifice anyone. Yeah, there, there. Amos Duncan. Hey! I'm heading out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to share some valuables. Oh, store some valuables in a safe. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. <laughs> he just whacked the mouse. That was so cute. 
This is where you come in. Surely you've got something up your sleeve for me. Baylox elixir. I already made it because I'm a potion master. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen already, there's my little uh, chemistry lab. Oh, I just noticed there's a paper here. Patterson's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Antidotes. Spring Wax Cap. Sometimes fatal. Can usually be cured by taking hot part boiled in vinegar. Sunset Mount Cap. Generally not fatal in small doses. Use crushed leaves from sour bandy to cure. Bishop's Parasol is often fatal. Can be remedied using the sap from lemon dandy. Copper Caledonian is often fatal and there is no known cure. And Farmer's Worry. Often fatal. An antidote can be made using Royal Gentia. Interesting. I literally didn't see that till just now. But yeah, so here is my little, uh, science, uh, chemistry set, I guess. Let me give him the elixir I made earlier. Boop. Yeah, boy. Spring wax cap. Edible mushroom with some mild medicinal properties. When dried and eaten, can help relieve pain. Okay. Oop, I made him blep again. Mary home. You look like the maid from Mary Poppins. I'm looking for something specific. Very unusual looking fungus that takes me back to my childhood with its wonderful smoky smell. You want gray sand fire. Bye bye. Yeah, I'm on that level with this game. Simone, what's up? Oh goodness, Elbor, you haven't been getting enough food? That's terrible. Whatever will become of you. I know, he's such a baby. My mother's had me looking into this serpent creature for you, but I'm afraid I've not been getting anywhere. Your mother? Wait a minute. So there's this lady named Verona who's like an occult researcher? Verona Green, Simone Green. I never realized that they were mother and daughter. That's good to know. Oh, she kept talking with me, out me. Uh, let's see, strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank as to where to find anything. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. That and sneak in some Hellbore hugs. I know, because he's so cute. Bye. I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambleside for any mention of the servant, but Lord Fremont's archives at Muncaster? are home to many ancient and esoteric scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. It might be worth a visit. Simone. Okay, so Ambleside? Oh, wait, no. Lord Fremont's archives at Muncaster? Where the heck is Muncaster? of the castle. Two hours later, I still have found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up, a name grabs my attention. The Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that was another name for the servant? She did. The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner, who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. This servant is assumed to be immortal since it is has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was created near Black Cone. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendru was ousted from this world. Uh, unfortunately, although we know that five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. And that's where I come in. If this is the, your first time checking in with Strange Horticulture, essentially all you need to know is that Spooky Jade Mask Lady has woken up some giant deer skull monster thing from what people have described and it's killing people now so we need to stop her some of the people trying to stop her are forrest bear he's like a, a drug addict monster hunter um verona green who's simone's mother she's an occult scholar this detective reuben ward you've got the, one of the witches from the forest bethany coleman and then this dude Ennis Aylford is actually excited about this. He worships the Dendru and he wants me to sacrifice Forest to it, which I am absolutely not going to do. No. John Hall. Nor 
Hollywood, please. I find it's the only thing that can keep me from nodding off on the night shift. No problem. Norwood. A bite of this crunchy root um, helps with a sharp focus. It really spores that are invisible to naked eye, showing up only under unnatural light. Ooh, ooh. That's where my little glass comes in, huh? This guy. If we see shiny spores, we'll know that it's Norwood. Hey, look at that! Can I see it up close before I give it to him? Hey, That's cool. Very cute. Nice. And now we have an entry for Daisy Dock. A simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves. It is said that ancient warriors would take it before going into battle. Nice. We're gonna need it. That monster sounds kind of scary. So you... Not Nordwood. This isn't Nordstrom. There we go. Whee. Oh, I should probably just tell remind myself what it actually is. Which I believe is Lesser Merry Dock. But I don't want to give that to Forrest, because then the thing will eat him, and they will sacrifice him, and that is very bad. So I don't really need to do any of this for now. Let's go ahead and end the day. The first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as golden light, the number of petals on a lucky cabalia flower. I know the number of petals on a lucky cabalia flower is seven. The first letter of the Latin name of the plant known as golden light, I don't know, but I know that golden light's actual name is weeping bell, so that one will be easy to figure out says, when her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the art was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. Oh, no. What did you do? What do you need? Why? I, I don't understand why she wants to do this. It's unclear. But we know that whoever they're talking about killed Arda, for sure. Day 12, Tuesday. Okay, so we know the number is 7, but now we need to know the other part of the coordinates. Let's find Weeping Bell. Lamentum. So, L7? Let me make sure that Kabalia is right. Yes, finding a 7 petal flower is considered frequent conversion. L7. Medellin, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisies, cowslips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them, something new for my collection. Ooh, those are cool. Okay. Let me scoot you guys around a little bit so you guys have some more room. That way you can see all of the plants that I actually have. last night. That's not good. Bethany is dead. No! Along with the new Arda and 13 others. Those damn fools with all their secrets. No amount of pleading with them could get them to see sense, but through blind luck we have been left with a slender hope in this fight. Sister Charlotte managed to escape the slaughter with this one thing that could help in the fight against the serpent. Trust no one. Keep it hidden, but get it open. hide it in that drawer, right? I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it here. Oh, sorry. David Schaefer. They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more than that, but those seeds of redemptionists have got all excited about it. There's a bunch of them chanting outside Pulivers right now. That's not good. 
Foxfield Trident. You got it. Foxfield is here, so we grab our Brayer Circle. Trident. From Foxfield, the Trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of the Swinside Circle. Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dell. Here, a plant thrives sheltered from the wind. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Uh-oh. There's still some kind of plant that I need to find. The dead ground northeast of Tebe, where nothing but the Digitatus mortis grows. I don't know where that is. Blep. Hi, forest. I'm going to Black Cone. Kill this servant. My people have a saying. He who lives without fear does not live at all. But I will not say they're not afraid, and it would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Ember Soul. I am not poisoning him. I'm gonna give him Ember Soul. E is for Ember Soul. Well, here's the thing. Before I do that, I'm kind of curious. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, my gamer curiosity makes me want to see what would happen. So, let me see if I can save this real quick. No, I don't think I can. So I have to make the choice now, right? Yeah, probably save automatically. Ah. Uh, but at the same time, I don't really want to sacrifice him. Okay, so what's Ember Soul? Thought to have protected properties, it is sometimes given as an offering to various deities in return for sanctuary. It produces flowers with many petals. Watch over the leaves are razor sharp. So it's kind of like... Uh, it's got these like frills. Guys, this sucks. No, I don't want to do it. I don't think I have it. Right? Because these are like these little bell things. It's not this, right? Maybe it is. Oh, it's quite easy to cut oneself from the jagged leaves, as I have just found out. Nice. Okay. Ember Soul, here we go. Yes! I was like, I really don't want to kill him. Widow's Woe, said to induce fear, also called Kempfoot, partly due to its unpleasant scent. Dainty dark flowers grow out from a bed of long, thin leaves. Okay, so you are Ember Soul. <sighs> Good luck, Forest. Hi, Milton Forbes. Allow me to present my services. I own a small shop that specializes in curiosities. I would have thought someone in your position ought to be interested in perusing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Um, yes I would. Absolutely. Arnside Antiquities, 21 Orchard Road. Where is that? Oh, probably Arnside, huh? Let's go to Arnside. Boop, boop, boop. Where is Arnside? That's Ambleside. So where is Arnside? Ah, there we go. The dark exterior of Arnside Antiquities blends into its surroundings. A tailor called Jones in an ugly-looking haberdashery to the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. 
Inside, however, I am greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines, their uses unfathomable, occupy rows of display cases. It is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand further study. Yes! Alright, let's see if we can do it. St. Quentin's Elixir. This elixir will enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear, though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it should not be wise to drink this near the edge of a cliff. <laughs> a five-pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind, a seed pod for luck. Okay. And then what about this one? Elixir of the Damned. Made from a combination of Arbutum alacritus malacosis rententia and mens fortis, this powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. It is said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear vacant and lost. Alive, but no longer really with us. Okay, that one I feel like would be easier to make because it's just their Latin names. So I need... Arbutum alacritus. Okay, so we need Cabalia, which is this one. Oh. So we need Cabalia. The next is Maculosis retin retinentia. Maculosis. Maculosis. Morse Amicus is another one I need, right? No, I need Morse Fortis. Mens Fortis is close, but not right. Maculosis. Mens Fortis is Dranthium. That's the third component. Dranthium. So I just need the middle one. This Maculosis retin Retinentia. Okay, which I'm not really sure what Henchuk is. It says that, okay, that makes sense because Red Ninja, it sounds like retain memory, um, and it helps with memory loss. The tuberous bulb has an unusual structure, growing in bursts that give it a striped appearance. I have something like that, don't I? Where is it? Where is it? This one, right? No. That one doesn't have stripes. There was one that had stripes on it. It was this one. But that's Ember Soul. Hmm. Oh, it's only striped when it's cut open. Okay, so if that is Ember Soul, then this other tube one with the fruit should be it. Yeah, because this is the fruit of the hen chuck is what we want. So yeah, this is definitely Henchuk. At least I hope. Let's go ahead and put it in the middle and create our elixir. Or the elixir of the damned. Whoa! New elixir acquired. Let's see. A dark red liquid. Ugh. Oh, I can label the bottles too. That's the elixir of the damned. We gotta be careful with that. Okay. So we'll keep this over here. This one was different. It's called something else. Hmm. It's Baylock's elixir. Okay. We'll do purple for our potions. try to make one more. St. Quentin's Elixir. It will enable the drinker to overcome fear. That's right. Five-pointed leaf to grant courage. Five-pointed leaf, huh? That's got more than five points for sure. Hmm. That one's got more than five leaf points. Five-pointed leaf. That looks like a five-pointed leaf. Five. Okay, 
so this one can grant courage. A red flower to protect the mind. There was one that I gave to Faye Swift at the beginning, isn't it? Meek do? I feel like this one protects mental faculties. Not meek do. So let's put this one back. But it has red flowers. It's oh, I think it was candlewood. I think that's what I gave her. Produces red flower that provides a shielding effect, protecting against afflictions of the mind. Okay, yeah. So then we need this one. And then what else did I need? A uh, seed pod for luck. Lucky seed pod. Isn't that like sheep snap? Is what they wanted. That sounds like I remember sheep snap talking about like luck or something. Sheep snap. Yeah, if they bring good fortune when prepared correctly, they have green seed pods. I don't know that I have sheep snap though, unless these are seed pods. Nah. And then hen chuck needs to go over here because it's identified. have anything with seed pods at all, I don't think. So we may not be able to make this one yet. Right? I don't see anything with a seed pod. Okay, so I'll have to put this one on hold for now. I need to put themselves away, okay. Faye Swift, it's you again. The dreams have changed. Oh, I understand now what I need to do. Your librarian friend visits tomorrow. Give her this instead of the pallions that she will ask for. She knows something that she's not telling you. Okay. What is that? I feel like that's the truth saying thing, right? Long thin leaves, quite rigid, aroma is sharp and citric. artist knowledge she journeyed west to the stone circle unknown to her she was not alone as she made her preparations oh no okay so let's go to endmore day 13 wednesday speaking of which the tv show wednesday is fantastic if you haven't seen it go check it out let's grab our thing so i'm gonna need my Oh, I should probably actually use the Wealth Explorer. That would help. Okay, so now I have this. And my clue. Wrong clue. And more Raven Spider. Okay, so it mentioned in one of the notes that I have, might have to combine them. So I'm going to wherever End More Raven points, and then from there to the spider one. Let's find End More first. That's H29. And now I 
need to do with a spider. There we go. A jackdaw croaks, hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stones pierce the long grass. Among them, some plants grow. Ooh, hey, I think that's a seed pot I need. Right? That looks like sheep's snap. Okay, yes, yes, that's what I want. All right, so now we can make that last elixir that I was trying to earlier. Um, so again, we're gonna need the five-pointed leaf. Where was that? I don't remember what it was. Five-pointed leaf, five-pointed leaf. Leaf, 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 leaf. Give me your leaves. That has five points, though. Uh-oh, more than one. To grant courage. This one has nothing to do with courage. Does this one, though? That one doesn't have five points. It was a different one. What did I have before? It was this one, maybe? Those ones all have five points. Courage. There is something in the book about a plant that helps warriors have courage, and I want to get this right. So, let's see. It's speed read time. Two thousand years later. Okay, so it looks like it's Daisy Dock. It will grow that ancient warriors would take it for going to battle for courage, and it looks like this matches. Yeah. So let me label this as Daisy Dock first. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you look really similar? No, because it's three points. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We want the five pointed one, right? Right? Yeah, five pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind. That was candlewood. Oh, I actually need this. Daisy Dock, candlewood. And then it was a seed pod for luck, which is sheep snap. I think I got it. Oh yeah! Here we go. So now we've got St. Quentin's Elixir. Cool. So we'll just scooch this over here. And then we will label it. She vaguely reminds me of um, is it President Coin from Hunger Games. Have you heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations. Whoop, whoa, whoa. Lady, you're talking too fast. Nations would kneel before you, would be a god. That creature. It's huge, unstoppable, and they say it obeys your every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father in law tomorrow. I guess I'll just have to settle for some Daisy Dog to help me get through it instead. Okay. Do you have a bio? No, you're just a lady, I guess. You seem awfully happy about that idea. Good thing you don't have it. Unless you do. Here's some Daisy Dog. Stop having delusions of grandeur. Dead man's fingers. The fungus is typically found in dense forests protruding through the mulch. At a glance, it can appear as though a corpse is reaching up through the undergrowth. Said to strengthen resolve and sharpen the mind. Gross. Let's put you over here. Ah! We know for sure that seed pot is sheep snap, so I will scooch you over here. Or make the watering can like our border, I suppose. This one's got like a fancy pot. Look at the yellow. Okay, so this is sheep snap. There we go. Scooch you over here. Bam. Next customer. David J. 
Schaefer. It's mail time. This letter was in delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturist spelled wrong. Oh, the horticulturist. I have to assume it was meant for you. Is it the crazy old man from the mountains, or is it the cultists? If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Do you have spooky secret writing? Yeah, boy. Ho oh, ho! So you got it working. Oh, yes, yes, it works, it works. Look to the north of Bowfell at the source of the river Esk. Nobody knows it grows there. It will be our little secret. Ho, ho. All right, crazy old man. Let's go. So I need to go north of Bowfell to the source of the river Esk, right? Yeah, north of Bowfell source of river esk so both feels right here and then is this the river esk yeah so the source is right there sure enough i find a plant here that i have never seen before nice they look like little bells very cute thanks crazy old man thora dunn you're pretty my husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones he brought back from his latest venture. He's just been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods on the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd-looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I'd have brought one with me to help identify it, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Mr. Dunn, mushrooms, woods west of Undermere, across the lake. Cool. So, woods west of Undermere, right here. Well, probably here. Mushrooms! Have I never been here before? They're hard to find at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. Ooh! Pippin and Mary would also be excited. The mushrooms! So, yeah, let's see if we can identify this then. Because she'll be back tomorrow. Red caps have a spongy texture. There was something about spongy mushrooms earlier. It's not Dead Man's Fingers. Devil's Nightcap, maybe? No, that's not a mushroom. Uh... Farmer's Worry, maybe? A spongy mushroom with potent abilities. Only safe to consume in small quantities. Grants great strength for short periods at the expense of severe fatigue when the effect has worn off. I think this is Farmer's Worry, then. So, in theory, she can eat it, but, like, only a little feel really tired after. Sorry, Hellboy. Hi, Simone. Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but all I've discovered is a mold problem. I hoped you might have some sweet breath that could help clear it up. Okay, here's the thing. I don't feel like she hasn't has not been forthcoming. So I don't know what the lady's going on about when Faye tells me that she's keeping things from me, because it doesn't feel like she is. But I could be wrong. I mean, her mom is super into the occult. But her mom also has done nothing but be helpful, and Faye is kind of weird. That sounds wrong. Faye's uh, motivations are unclear. Like, I don't know what Faye's deal is. I don't really trust her. <sighs> But if she's li not lying, then the proof plant will give it to me anyway. She has been able to do a lot more research than I have. But, like, Verona keeps saying that she knows that something's people are hiding things from her, and she is looking for answers. Verona wouldn't keep that from me, I feel like, because she's literally on the case. Simone would have told her mom, so why wouldn't she have told me? I don't know. I am going to choose to trust Simone, and I'm going to give her Pallians instead. Which is sweet breath, right? Is it this one? Pleasant fresh aroma. That sounds about right. right it 
does have a pleasant, fresh aroma. Let's use that. Okay. So I've given her palliance. Sour Bandy can help with memory recovery, especially if the memory has been deliberately sabotaged. The name of this plant derives from the fact that although edible, the large stamen is incredibly bitter to the taste. Gross. Maybe this is that? Somewhat pungent. Okay, so this is Sweet Breath for sure. We'll label this. And then I think we'll go ahead and try and finish up this day. My cousin will be married in three days. If you've got some Trimble Huff, then it'll save me the trouble of going out to find my son myself. I want to say it's this. Let me make sure. Trimble hoof. Okay, so it looks like little bells, but that's not it. So, what else could it be? I I don't have anything else like that. Oh no, maybe it's these. Uh, yeah. I bet this is it, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Trimble hoof. Glowhorn. Forest lantern or pixie lamp is a phosphorescent mushroom illuminating the trees that it grows under. Suspicious travelers avoid walking towards it, fearing that the faint lights will lure them to their demise. So we know that that glowing mushroom is that, then. Here we go. Trimble huff. And... Glow horn. Gosforth on it. When I tried going to Gosforth earlier, it didn't do anything, so maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. The shepherd watched as she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watched as the hours dragged by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight, at times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. Oh no, that's that kid that got killed, huh? That sucks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off this episode here. Um, next time, we're going to go ahead and try finding out this next clue. I think I just need to go eight miles to the east of Gosforth itself, because so, that symbol I'm like pretty sure is on the coin that I got out of that secret compartment from my desk. Um, if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that video. It was really cool. The mystery is just thickening and there's so many choice there's like not that many choices to make but i feel like i don't know there is very well written in that there's not a clear yes or no good or bad answer to a lot of these questions a lot of it's like do you trust them or do you not i don't know i definitely don't trust the cultists i want to trust simone and i hope i made the right decision but i don't know um but yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that choice turns out later. It looks like based on the moon cycles at the bottom here that we are almost done with the game. So I'm excited to see where this goes. But for now, um, if you liked what you've seen so far and you want to continue with our strange horticulture adventure, go ahead and like and subscribe and a new video will be out soon. Um, thanks for spending some time with me doing some spooky plants today. Bye!